Hey guys, this is Jackie Jean with Jean Photography and I wanted to show you a quick edit using um, one of my light overlays from my new collection, the West Coast Skies and kind of mix and match it with a couple other action sets that are all found in the CS bundle. So, alright, so this little blob of light that you're looking at right here, this is my top sun ray and this again is in the West Coast Skies collection so I'm just gonna drag it and drop it on top of the image that I'm wanting to add the light to just kinda see right there and I think I'm kinda could piece it anywhere but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here bring it up there and I'm going to make sure to go to my blend mode and change that to screen and then you can see we got beautiful light rays right there now we definitely want to erase just some of those harsh lines on the sides And I want to go ahead and erase it off of her skin as well. And then you can adjust the opacity of that overlay. I'm going to go ahead and keep it pretty full on. So let's do about 95%. And I'm going to go ahead and merge those layers together because I'm going to start editing it then. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pull from my mini mat collection and I'm going to use rich color matte with the haze. Got it selected. Press play. And as you can see all of the layers are masked so you can kind of play with the adjustment on each one of them as well. And I'm going to change my foreground color. And let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and mask some of that brightness in just because I don't want the grass to be too bright and I really like my images to be on the rich richer side so and I have two layers one is brightness and one is more light and so I'm gonna go to the more light and just kinda mask that one as well alright and just kind of look in just to see that to show you that you can change the overall opacity of the action there so I've got that at about 76 80 percent I'm going to select my background and then I'm going to scroll on down over here to my freedom collection and let's go ahead and warm up I want to have a little bit of more warmth happening around the sun flare. So I'm going to go to a little fire, press play, and again I'm, I don't want it affecting her skin so much so I'm just going to mask her skin on both of those layers. As you can see right there, just giving it a nice bit of warmth and there's two layers and this one's a bit extra warmth. I'm going to actually right click and duplicate that layer because it's just going to add a little bit more warmth there and I'm not going to have to mask in by doing that so I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to go to my main opacity on that folder and I'm just going to bring it up to about 95% Again, making sure that that red is off of her skin. There we go. Okay, so and then one more final step that I want to add to it because I want to give it just a little bit of pop, a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to stay in my Freedom Collection and I'm going to scroll down to Paint on some pop. Press play. I'm going to change my foreground color to white and just paint on some of that contrast.
and get that. And here is before and after. So there's the before and the after. Again, this was using the light overlay from the West Coast collection. This the rich color mat from the mini mat collection and the freedom collection using a little fire and paint on some pop. So I hope you enjoyed that and you can find all of those in the CS bundle and in the sky overlays. So thanks guys.